Once upon a time, in a very far off land, a land that no human has ever been to before, there lived a dragon. And this dragon lived on a beautiful island out in the middle of a very vast ocean. Now, this island had lots of dragons on it, but this particular dragon was different from a lot of other dragons. Most of the dragons didn't talk very much. They just liked to go and, uh, you know, find something to eat, like a sheep or a cow or a horse or something like that. They would just go around hunting all the time, and they didn't really do much else. But this dragon, he liked to sit up on top of the mountain and think about stuff. He wondered about the island he lived on and, and where how it had come about. He wondered uh, about dragons on other places, because he knew that this was not the only place in the world that dragons lived. He knew dragons lived all over the place, and sorted out the other dragons, but they didn't really care. And all they really cared about was, you know, getting their water and their food. But he would fly around, and uh, he uh, would, would get something to eat and get some water, and then he'd sit back up on the top of his mountain and think for a while. Well, he had been thinking for a, quite a while about the idea of exploring, about uh, going and, and discovering other places. But he'd never really done anything about it. One day he was flying down uh, in a valley that uh, was next to the mountain that he lived in, and he saw something strange. He saw a letter on the ground. He, he landed and looked at it. Now, Unlike a lot of dragons, he actually knew how to read because, you know, he liked to learn and he had gone to school. And a lot of dragons decided they didn't need to go to school. Well, he read the letter and the letter talked about an amazing place across the ocean where uh, there were dragons that would uh, learn about all kinds of amazing things. That they had schools and other things that, where dragons could learn not just about how to hunt better and stuff, or even just how to read, but could learn how, all about different types of animals, could learn about how water works, could learn about how trees grow, and things like that. And as he read this letter, he thought, wow, I need to go there. And so, he picked up the letter, folded it up, and uh, stored it in a little pouch that he kept attached to his leg, and he started to fly in the direction that uh, the note, the letter indicated that uh, the, this place was. And so he left the island and was out over the vast ocean. And he flew and he flew and he flew. Now he knew which direction to go, but he really had no idea how far he was going to have to fly. And this soon became, became, it soon became apparent that this was going to be a bit of a problem because he was flying over this vast, vast ocean. And he looked forward, all he could see was more ocean. When he looked back, the island was not there. He had gone very, very far from that. And he was starting to worry, because he didn't think that he was going to be able to get to this place before he would have to stop and rest. Because as a dragon, dragons are, are very, very uh, strong and uh, hardy uh, creatures. They can fly for a very long time without having to stop, without having to get food or drink or sleep. But even they had their limits because, I mean, he had, to, he had to eat, he had to drink, he had to rest sometime. And as he was flying and flying, he was becoming, he had become worried, but now he was starting to get really worried and thinking that something, that he was just going to have to crash into the ocean because there was just no place for him to rest. And then, after a little while of worrying like this, he saw something in the water. He saw a massive whale swimming along, and he had an idea. And he wheeled down, and he started to fly right above the whale, and he hovered above him and said, Mr. Whale, Mr. Whale! And the whale said, What do you need? 
Well, the whale was a little worried because, you know, dragons eat pretty much anything. Um, and the whale said, what is it you want, dragon? The dragon said, please, I'm trying to reach uh, someplace very far away. I didn't know how far it was. But I've, uh, I've flown so far, I need to have some rest. I know it's asking a lot, but, but could I could I rest on you? The whale said, how do I know you won't eat me? And the, uh, the dragon said, I won't, I promise. And the whale said, but how will I know? And the dragon said, look, you can see I am very, very tired. And I need to, to fall asleep. If I land on, my, on your back, I can sleep. The thing is, though, if I try to attack you, I'm too tired to fly away. If I try to attack you, all you have to do is go back under the water, and I'll be stuck, and I'll drown. The whale thought for a second and realized that, yeah, that made sense. So he said, all right, you can rest on me. And so the dragon landed on the whale's humongous back and curled up and went to sleep. The whale stayed floating on the top of the water, and uh, waited until the uh, dragon woke up. Once the dragon did wake up, the dragon felt much better now that he had uh, been able to uh, um, have uh, have a nice rest. And he thanked the whale, and he kept on flying in the in the direction he needed to go. And so he flew and flew and flew all day, feeling much much better because he had had a nice long nap. But as he was going, he realized that now he was very, very hungry and knew that he was still not going to make his destination before being hungry got so bad that he was going to fall into the ocean and he would drown because, you know, dragons really can't swim. And so he started to look around and wonder what he could do. And then he saw it, a very, very tiny little island and so, he thought, maybe there's some food here. And when he landed, he saw nothing around him that he could eat. And he was starting to worry. And then up in a tree, a monkey looked down at him. The monkey said, Dragon, what are you doing on my tiny little island? The dragon said, I am, I am very, very hungry. And I, I just was landing here hoping that maybe there would be some food. And the monkey said, well, there is food. There's lots of bananas and coconuts. But why should I give them to you? The dragon said, please, I'm trying to get to a, to a place, and it's a very long journey. And I've, I've flown for a very long time. I slept uh, last night on the back of a whale, and now... And now I am very, very, very hungry. Please, can I have some bananas and coconuts? And the monkey said, well, How do I know if I, if I help you that you won't try and eat me? And the uh, dragon said, I am so faint with hunger right now that there's no way that I could fly up to you right now and, and be able to get you. You're up on the top of the tree. If you could just throw down some bananas and coconuts... I'll eat them, and then I'll be much better. And then I promise I'll fly away. Well, the monkey still thought that, eh, he could probably still eat me after he eats everything. But, for some reason, he decided to trust the dragon. So he threw down a bunch of coconuts and bananas, and the dragon caught each one in his mouth and ate them up. And then, when he had eaten all that he needed, he said to the monkey, Thank you so much. I'm going to leave now. Thank you so much for your help. And so he went to the edge of the island and took off and started to fly in the direction he needed to go. He flew and flew and flew for hours and hours and hours and even into the night and onto another day. But soon he was looking and seeing that he still was not going to make it. And he thought, I really am thirsty. I need some water so badly. Where am I going to find some water? I can't drink salt water, which is what the ocean is made out. I need to find some fresh water somewhere. And so, he kept on flying, hoping, 
hoping and hoping that he would find some place with water. And uh, very soon, when he thought he was about ready to just pass out, he saw another tiny island. And he decided to land there and see if he could find some water there. This little island was a little bigger than the last one. And he looked around, trying to see if there was any water. And as he was walking around looking, uh, he saw something he'd never seen before. It was a strange bird. type of bird he'd never seen. The bird was sitting there, weary and tired. And when he saw the dragon, he was scared. Because dragons eat birds. The dragon said, Please, I'm, I'm not here to hurt you. I just need some water. Can you please help me? Is there water on this island? The bird said, Yes, there is. But why should I share it with you? The dragon said, Please, I just need some water or I'm going to die. And the bird said, Well, I need water too, but I can't get any. And the dragon said, Why? He said, There's, there's water. There's water inside this great big mountain. At one time, there used to be a spring where the water came up out of the mountain, flowed down the rivers, and down out to the uh, sea. But it's, it's gone now. There's an avalanche. And the avalanche, the, the rocks fell, and they covered up the, the spout of the, uh, of the water. And now... I'm so thirsty, I can't get any water, and nobody can. And the dragon said, please, tell me where it is. I am. I can go there, and I can move the, the rocks, and then the water will flow down again. And the bird said, all right, he had nothing to lose. So he told the dragon where it was. The dragon flew as best he could, because he was very tired. He flew a little bit, then he had to climb, and he found the spot, and with his immense strength, he pushed a boulder out of the way, and then another boulder, and then another. And as he did, water started to seep through, and he was able to drink a teeny bit of water, and then he had a little more strength, and he kept on pushing the rocks out of the way, and finally pushed the last rock, and the water started squirting out, and started filling up the river. He drank as much as he could. Then he flew down and told the little bird. The bird was lying there as though it were dead. And the dragon said, oh no! He picked up the bird and carried him to the river, which was now starting to flow. And he lapped up some water and helped the bird to take a drink. And soon the bird was all better and standing there smiling at the dragon. He said, thank you, dragon. Thank you so much for helping me. And the dragon said, of course. Well, now I must really be going. I, I really do have to get... Uh, to my destination. And the bird said, where are you going? And the dragon took the letter out of the pouch on his leg and showed him, and showed it to the bird. And the bird said, why, I know where that is. You're actually almost there. Just fly that direction. He pointed with his wing, the direction the, the dragon would be going, and said, just go there, and you'll be there very, very soon. And the dragon said, thank you. Put the letter back into his pouch, and he began to fly flew and flew and flew, and within a few short hours, he saw it. Not an island, but a big, big uh, uh, bit of mainland. He had reached where he was going, and he could see dragons flying around. He saw buildings, which he'd never seen before. They looked to him like mountains, mountains that had been built. But he saw, and he flew in there, and he saw the dragons, and he went to and landed, and asked the dragon where he could go to learn things. And the dragon told him all about this wonderful place, and uh, was able to tell him where he needed to go. And so that dragon, who had flown so hard, and endured so many difficulties, finally reached the great place that he was going to, and was able to learn all the things he wanted to learn. He learned all about water and food, and... He even learned about how sleep works and how it helps you. And he learned about birds. 
and he learned about monkeys, and he learned about whales, because he had a new appreciation for all those different types of animals. And he was very, very happy. He learned lots of things, and even learned how to create a boat, so that the next time that he needed to leave and go back home, he was able to sit on a boat that had plenty of water, plenty of food, and a nice place to sleep, and was able to go home to his island, where all the other dragons flew around and just ate. But he sat up on the top of his mountain thinking, just like he always had, but this time he had a lot more to think about. The end.